River State Government Task Force visited several waterfront communities in the job axis of Port Harcourt, arbitrarily marked for demolition and told residents to vacate within seven days. This was in reference to Governor Wicke's crackdown on identified criminal hideouts in Port Harcourt Township and the Elobuchi axis of Diobo in his 2022 New Year's address. But the victims expressed displeasure over the insensitivity of the state government towards the displaced people. Few days after the demolition of waterfront communities in the Diobo axis of Port Harcourt, some victims said that they were now homeless and without food. Some of the affected women narrated their ordeals to our correspondent who visited the area. Even if we were to pack, Kosi demands that, yes, they told us that on the 26th they are coming to destroy this place, but not this place, that they had to go drown the waterside and because there's an old road and the road does not connect to this building. And if the, the, the Honorable Governor, His Excellency, want to do this, Kosi demands, God, for God's fearing sake, you should remember people. I am a civil servant. As I see, as you see now, every, now road now just there. They know we are out to yourself, no, no problem. No help, no body. That's how today they scatter herself. My junior star, you're born. If I say them video, I say for good. They actually are born without no treatment, no nothing. As, as I talk to you, say now outside. Outside, now she did. We voted you in as a governor, not for you to keep us homeless. It is so wrong. Endurance Ododo, who is visually impaired, also explained how it's been difficult for him since the demolition. Since our Saturday till now, this one one week one week on two days now at the outside. Without no no app, no nothing. I just I just day alone with my family. Some of the market women called on the government to reconsider its plans, adding that it was their financial status that relegated them to the area. To rent a shop now or go my one market. If you know 100 and something thousand, they know we'll give you space. And yeah, now free. May they help us, I beg. We they pay some more, some more money. I don't stay here now. I they go 60 years. This water side. Now I stay group. Where my Macari trained me, I come out. And this water side, where you see, like this. Now we pour more to the, come build this house so that we go fish, stay here, they get fish. Chairman of the Coalition of Civil Society Organizations in River State, Enefa Judge, who condemned the incident, said it is estimated that over 10,000 persons would be rendered homeless and driven into poverty by the loss of livelihoods and other hardships associated with homelessness and displacement. The leg of this sale for government, come carry the blame, come put for our head. It's not possible. Anyways, International instrument, that one be said, international law, then where Nigeria said don't sign, they're against forced eviction. You know, go just evict people from their houses like that. You go, first of all, before you evict people, you go enter a meeting with them, you go agree with them, you go, you go create alternative places for them. The people say they have written to the governor to express their concerns and request an urgent audience with him to discuss how to address the issues. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.